Well, here we are at Wahoo, Nebraska. We got here bright and early. You can see all the vendors and spectators pulling in here. This is a good little swap meet. Uh, got some good, good Western metal here and stuff. So we'll take a look around here, see what we can find. And we'll, we'll uh, take you along with us and we'll show you at the end what we found. Enjoy the video. Well, we'll start her over on this side here. We uh, got in here early, getting all the early deals. Now we're gonna take a little slower walk through and we'll show you what we see. This is Model A Roadster. Check the price out here, 32.5. I'll show you the phone number here if you're interested in it. Didn't want to back over yet. <laughs> what do you got on the car? I will sell that for 35 bucks. Well, this uh, flea market has a lot of, or I should say swap meet has a lot of, a lot of different stuff anywhere from, you know, more, more modern stuff to general, general collectibles to good old car parts. So we'll take a look around here and show you what we can find. Just, just guilt him? Yep. 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 Well, if Marlon Check this. This is a guy's ride here. He was just telling me that he got this on the road finally. He was glad to get it back on the road, and there it is, a big old Cadillac. Nice headlights there. Well, this swap meets in Wahoo, Nebraska. It's 20 miles north of Lincoln. It's every spring and fall, I believe. I've never been to the fall one, but I've been to the spring one a few times, but the fall one lines up with Hershey, so we're out there. This guy just did a nice belch there. I don't know if you heard that. Here's a Ford Coupe, kind of a street rod. This aisle is real crowded up here. It kind of narrows down in this area back here, so we'll we'll catch up with you out in the middle of it here. I always like looking at people's rides that come to the swap. I mean, this is a vendor here. He's got a nice looking Ford F100, 4x4. Great looking patina truck. Gotta love the old four-wheel drives. Got an old Evinrude boat motor. Get across the aisle here. Here's a good piece, the cast iron base for a lollipop sign. Six and a quarter. I was looking for one of those for a while. The mobile. But I ended up finding one. So not looking anymore. There's an old lawn chair, 50 bucks. Kind of a good old school one. Golly Envils here. 375, 400 a piece. Yeah, we'll see you, buddy. Well, we'll catch up with you down this aisle a little bit where it's not so busy. All kinds of advertising cans and stuff. This is a neat cone top. Somebody turned into a light. I got a hundred on that Waverly sign. Okay. So that's what I'll take for it. I had more than that on it. Yeah, it's a nice condition. Yeah. It's, it's an original sign too. IGA, that's a, kind of a cool can there. Remember when IGAs used to be everywhere? The Western thermos. 
That's a pretty cool candy, candy container. Cardboard. Nice advertising on it though. For a month, just to get this morning off to go up, buddy. The, the, news, me. the newsletter is worth $15. Wow. Well, I, <laughs> you know, business is always picking up for me. <laughs> this guy's 96, and he's the president of the Omaha Club. Yeah, I understand. This guy's got a lot of old Ford stuff. Flathead oil pan there. Ford truck headlights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a spare tire deal here for, I think, a 36 Ford, 35 or 6. Probably a 36 with that wide uh, cap on it. One of the Ford truck running boards. These are some Ford car front fenders. That guy's got some good old Ford stuff from the 30s, mostly. We'll go through this aisle here, then we'll catch up with you before where it's a little less traffic. There's a tandem bike there. It's like a mountain bike variation. Don't know that I've seen too many modern tandem bikes like that. You see a lot of older ones. Scoot up here a little ways. There's some tailgate yeah. benches. <laughs> Used to see a lot of people doing that with the tailgates, but it's kind of a fad that's fading off. Ford pickup for sale here. Looks like a four-wheel drive. There's the phone number there if you want it. Don't see the price on it. Look at these flower pots. Kind of a good idea. You take a golf cart rim, turn it inside out, end up with a flower pot. Well, this is a good size swap meet. You can see we're, we're kind of in one of the back aisles. It goes way out beyond that building up there. Uh, I don't know how many vendors here, I would guess. Maybe three or four hundred, I don't know. Just a guess. A couple of vehicles on the trailer here. Nice little Ford short box pickup there. Got the twin I beam suspension on it. Kind of a good patina on there. And we got a 56 Chevy four-door there. I don't see the prices on those right now, but a good-looking little short box. There's a tubing bender sold for 150. It's a nice little race car here. It's got a Honda engine in it, I guess. Right there is the price, 1500 motor right beside you. Pretty cool. This guy's got some nice early brass lights here. Thank you, sir. All kinds of tools. Nice early carburetor there. Cool stool there, all welded up out of car parts. No. Short circuit is that? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was a movie, wasn't it? I think so. Look at that. He's got the Star Wars ship. The good ones, I don't kind of. Cool skull there. 
These are all welded up out of old tools and nuts and bolts and stuff. It's pretty cool. Does a good job. Look at the engine here, a little little V8 engine. No, it leaks out. It leaks out the rear main. It leaks out 400 on the air cleaner cover. Yeah. And what it does then is it just onto the flywheel. Yeah. But just on the clutch. All kinds of Oldsmobile stuff there. It's just a domino effect then. First thing you need driving. Well, I know, but that's what happens right there. Ford door back there, 35 or 6, two-door sedan door. Looks like just the skin of it, though. Model A wheels there. Some Chevy wheels here. Six lug. This guy's got his square body out. Got that at the doing some work hauling a trailer there. I really wasn't late for all time. No, probably not. No, but it'd be real I always like the wagons people haul around here too. There's some cool cool old wagons. That one's been fixed up with some heavy aluminum rear wheels on it. Well they got that Ford pickup running there. You can hear it. it sounds like probably a six cylinder. Sounds pretty good. Kind of like that pickup. Get a bunch of oil cans here and stuff. Oh, what are you selling? No, she's. Oh, she's she taking a break. Okay. Big wrench. Huh? <laughs> yep. There's a Maytag can there. Forty five bucks. We old cupola there. See what the price is on that. See a lot of these. Nebraska and South Dakota, 300. Got a good look to it. More five gallon cans there. V doll is kind of cool. 35 bucks on the V doll. Look at the old Alamite display, that's pretty neat. 100 bucks. That's an early display. Yeah, we'll jump to the other side here. I see an old Chevy car we'll check out. Yeah, this one's a four door hardtop. Caprice, is it? Yep. Caprice model. Don't see too many of the four door hardtops. I put a set of TRWs in mine and it's perfect. Check out the information on it here. Well, I put the rears on first. Oh, it's got a big block, 396. <laughs> and then I put the fronts on and I bought the heavy. Here's the information and the phone number, nine grand. It's a 68. If you get any interest, you can give them a ring. Got a good patina to it. There's another square body still in operation there. Suburban. Yeah. Yeah, we'll jump over to this side. Some old pedal cars here, they're kind of rusty. But they'd make a cool uh, yard art or put them in a garden or something. They're not really restoration worthy, but they'd be cool for something. There's some 28 Chevy front fenders. There's a little fiberglass chair of some sort. I don't know if that's a, first I thought it was a potty chair, but just got these garnishes from this guy, 35 Chevy. 
You get a 34 dash there. This guy's got a cool Chevy. This is another one that's been driven here. He's hauling his load in there. Kind of a good patina. Co-op on the door. Probably a small block Chevy, I'm guessing, in there. Kind of a cool truck. Good looking truck. This guy's got some nice uh, slot car sets here. Look at all the little race cars here in the box. Some of them back in the 30s and 40s. The last car, Floyd drove and won the 500. Yeah, he's got that 60, 61 Chevy truck hood there. That's a hard item to find. He said he wants 400 for it. Look at all the tire ashtrays in there, 35 on that top one. Hundred and thirty-five on a Tonka fire truck. See a lot of repurposed stuff here. There's a lot of a lot of people making stuff out of old metal things and things, recycling them into something, getting them back into use or decorative or whatever. This guy's handing out food. I'm gonna follow him. Well, from this side, we're gonna jump across the road here, and we'll catch up with you over there. Yeah, we're kind of up in the middle area here. We'll walk by a few of these and check out this Model A on here. Twenty-eight or nine Model A Sport Coupe. A little rough around the edges. I got one like this. If somebody's looking for one, we've got one in our yard. We'd sell. This one's got a rough trunk lid there. I don't know the price on that. I don't see the price tag on it, but we've got one that we'd sell for about a thousand bucks. It's kind of a rougher body, but pretty comparable to that. Yeah. Kind of a cool lawn tractor over here. The case 442, 500 bucks. Lots of miscellaneous stuff. Here's a well, it's a 65 Chevy Impala chassis for a thousand bucks. There's some 55 to 7 stuff here, bumpers. Aluminum cylinder heads there, 1500. Yeah, looks like we got a 56 Chevy, four door hardtop, 3500 bucks. Here's the information on it right there. Pretty solid body, no glass. damage on that quarter right there. Nebraska car, not too bad. Over on that side we got a El Camino. Got some damage to the back quarter here. Not super rusty. A little bit in the quarters there, like they all do. Rockers are good and the floors don't look bad. Looks like probably the same owner. I don't know. There's the information right there. 67 Chevy. 
nothing under the hood that's open. And we'll scoot over to this aisle here. Small stationary engine back there. Vertical one, that's kind of cool. Try to check that out in the next aisle when we come around the back of it. the barn fresh stuff there you get that seven up cooler he was quoting 300 on it earlier bunch of military surplus there that seven up cooler probably would have sold fast if it was priced at 100 to 150 but at 300 it's probably going to go home with them Yeah, we'll jump over to this far side here, catch that stationary engine. There's that stationary engine, 200. Huh? 200 bucks, huh? Well, and if you're interested in it, I've got the water tour deal. Oh, yeah. And if, if you'd be interested in it today, I'd get $300 for both of them. 300 for the whole deal. Huh? 300 for the whole deal, huh? Need a 9-inch Ford? Uh, everybody put buying them. Pretty interesting. Okay. Stationary engine. That's an early one. Yeah. Dodge Charger race set. There is all the little slot cars in there. Sixty-seven or so. Right around there somewhere. Small block cylinder heads. The carburetors. And we'll jump over to another aisle here. It's a nice old valve grinding tool here. Van Dorn. You can see the manufacturer there. You got Van Dorn on there. That's for grinding your valves in the old days. Steering wheels here, 150 a pop. The Camaro trunk lid there looks like it's got some rust in it. Well, yeah, it was. Uh... This stuff looks like reproduction, so we'll skip over to the next one. Here's where we're at right there, the Saunders County Fairgrounds. Wahoo, Nebraska. This guy's got some reproduction Chevy stuff here, it looks like. I see a Chevy truck grill over there. Forty-seven to fifty-three truck grill, five seventy-five, brand new right there. Generator. Yeah, I see a Corvair up here. We'll get up that way. Corvair convertible looks like. Spider, Corvair Spider convertible. We'll get to the other side with us. less people. Well, there's where the motor would go. 
because these are rear engine, air cooled, kind of like a Volkswagen. Does it? Yeah. But it does not have a motor inside of it. You're one of those guys. Oh, yeah, I am. Don't see the price on that one. It's a convertible. Got a little rust on the edges, but not too bad. Thank you. Could be a good restore, restoration project. These are kind of cool Budweiser race cars there. He's got a lot of Budweiser stuff there. Dale Jr. Guitars, all kinds of stuff. I don't know if cleaned out on a bar or what. But he's got a lot of Budweiser stuff there. Got a boat here. I can't make mine into that 40 grand. There's a 37 Plymouth grill right there, 200 bucks. Grill insert. 125 on the, good. the boat engine there. He's got a few of them. 125 on that one. 150 on this one. This one's a Johnson Seahorse. 1750 for the boat. 1974. There's some 70 Torino parts there, trunk lid and a, and a hood. Sold, sold. Those probably aren't easy to come by if you need them. We're going to jump in the building here, see what there is. Well, here we are inside the building, a bunch of road signs and stuff. Some milk jugs. You can see this is the whole inside of the building. We'll do a quick walk through here, but just kind of give you a scan of it first. This is a fairground, so it's a ag building. Here's a sea of die cast. Toys, Hot Wheels, different die cast toy cars. I'll show you some of the ones here. There's an absolute sea of them. There's some older toys along the shelf here. Some reproduction signs there. Jump over to this side, they got an old Corvette toy there. That's the ride on, that's the real deal, that Corvette one. 60s. It's pretty nice. Bunch of models. Check out this stuff here. There's a few railroad items. This one's an ad like 275. It's got the nice glass reflectors, lenses on it. Pretty nice lantern. There's a bell bottom here. New York Central for a hundred and a quarter. The old Kruger beer tray. The red Thunderbird promotional model. I remember these when I was a kid. Mustard and ketchup. Yeah, we'll check out some of this stuff. This guys got some Ford parts there, some dent side stuff. Door and a couple fenders. Got a Chevy pickup over here. That one's got the aluminum grill in it. Those grills are kind of hard to come by. It's a camper special. 65, 3,500 bucks. A little rust on the edges, but not a bad truck. We'll get around the other side here, check it out. A little rust in the rocker in the front fender there, but 
Not as easy to find those as they used to be. Used to be nobody wanted them, now everybody wants them. This guy's got pickup boxes. If you're looking for pickup boxes, especially guys out east, call this guy. Get a large inventory. <coughs> You come out and get a trailer load of them. You fit a lot of them on a trailer. You can see this trailer here because they don't they don't really weigh much. He's extended that trailer. Can haul a lot of pickup boxes on there. A lot of people make good money hauling pickup boxes from down south, out west, haul them up to the northeast where things rust. This guy's got some Chevy stuff here. Some doors for a four-door sedan. We'll jump over here and check out this Chrysler here. Chrysler Coupe here, the red one. This guy's got some old license plates here. Some five dollar air cleaners, those are cheap. Yeah, she paid for that, but I'm gonna give her that extra since you're buying more of these. What are you gonna charge for? Got a Model A speedometer here. Twenty bucks. Rust it out in the bottom though. Kind of a neat old 20s spotlight there. Here's the Chrysler Coupe. They're calling it a 39. Here's the information here. It's got a 350 Chevy small block with a 350 turbo trans. Not a bad car for 12 grand. Is that what it is? Yep. Yep, not a bad car. Look at the taillights. You gotta love these Mopar taillights. You can see uh, they didn't have the original glass because they're hard to come by, so somebody put a plastic insert there, but it's probably a 80s or 90s redo. It's got some fiberglass running boards and got the Rear fenders are kind of molded to the body, but still a cool car for the money. Good looking, too. Thanks, man. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Well, some more reproduction signs here. People can't, can't get enough of those, apparently. So we'll skip over to the center area here. This is kind of in the middle of the fairgrounds here. You can see the old... Over there is an old uh, roller coaster for kids. And this is another tilt-a-whirl or something, I don't know, mechanism. There's one way down there too. Some old school rides. Check across the street here. Looks like a lot of oil cans and stuff. Miscellaneous. Gas pump nozzles, you go different gas pump parts. These are kind of cool here, the city service gas pump panels. If you want to do one with a patina, pop those right in. You got the old paint on there. I'm not sure what model they are, but the gas pump guys would recognize it. Back in the day, people would uh, restore them all, and now they don't want them all restored. They like the old patina. Put those right back on. This is a neat little scooter here. 60 bucks. It's all aluminum. Look at the detail of that. Pretty cool little sco scooter. These are bars that somebody's made out of different things. We repurpose stuff. Fire extinguishers and gas cans and stuff. Nice little grill guard there. Look at the Dodge Power Wagon over there. You guys use them. Couple 
I guess there's a set of four artillery wheels there. Five bolt. Standard Chevy, I guess. 100 bucks. 1500 for the Cushman. That's a Cushman? Yeah. Man, it's got a heater. A lot of tools and stuff here. She could drive in the wintertime. Quite a mix of stuff at a place like this. Some of it's flea market and some of it's car parts. Mostly what we're looking for is car parts. We do antiques as well, but we like quality antiques, you know, nothing, not flea market type stuff. Oh. He's got some cool Tonka trucks and stuff. 65 on that Structo. There's a 250 for that Tonka. Been restored. How you doing? Videotaping Yep. Exactly. Guy buying some stuff there. Yeah. There's a 40, 39, 40 Ford hood there. 450. 400 for the Columbia moped. Look at all the taps right there. A bunch of carburetors. This little radio there. Older setup before the TVIs. There's a big difference on the valve size. Nice 66 Corvette hubcaps there. Set them for 300. This guy's got a lot of tail lights and brass headlights and stuff. I recognize these because I worked on one 39 Mercury tail lights. It's a nice Dodge truck. Hood would have been there. Got some Buick parking lights. Got some nice lights, 36 Ford headlights there. We see him at Hershey and Iola and a lot of the different shows. He goes around. There's a 38 Ford grill, two and a quarter. He's out of Minnesota. This guy here has a pretty impressive collection of mechanical parts here. How does this work? I'm like, I got two carburetors. I have 35 69 Corvette carburetor. Look at the Tri power here, 57 8 Cadillac. Another tri power there. Another one here. This one's for a 348 Chevy, 1200. Got some nice stuff. Some aluminum intakes, some dual carbs. There's a 66 Pontiac with the tri carbs there. Some nice speed equipment. <laughs> Bell housings. There's a visor for a Chevy truck there, 55 to 9. Corvette valve covers. Thank you. A lot of the emblems here, five bucks a pop. Got some cool bikes here. Here's a girl's, it's a girl's bike, but it's a nice looking bike. Look at the jet airplane on the chain guard there. I think it's still got a bicycle registration of some sort there. Really nice shape, look at the seat. Got some later handle, handle grips off a banana seat or something. It's called a jet. Right there, St. Louis, Missouri. 
Sharply Hardware Company. Probably made by somebody else, I'm guessing, but nice little bike. Somebody painted the front fender. The rest of it's original. Sixty-one Chevy Dash there. Seventy-five bucks. Scoot up the aisle here. There's some more slot car sets there. Those used to be fun when we were kids. And a cool grill shell there. There's a 41 Willys front axle, 150 bucks. We know the guy with the Willys axle. He's a friend of ours, so if you if you're interested, you can contact us. We can get you in touch with him. There's a lot of license plates here. Nebraska. All the way from the 20s up to the more moderns, even some of the 90s there. Look at the Buick sedan there. We'll jump over to the next aisle. We can check out that. Looks like a 40 Buick. Those. These are interesting doors here. I, I'm guessing Chevy. Prices right there, 500. They're really nice condition. For 20, those are like 26, 7. I don't know if they're Chevy or Buick or what, but nice doors. Two door sedan, they're real long. This guy's got a lot of tools and stuff, but he does have a cool Coke dispenser here. Drink Coca Cola, it's a fountain dispenser. 225 is the price. Uh, maybe missing the lid, unless he's got it somewhere else. And he's got a lot of tools here. Looks like an old airport baggage car there. Got some cool stuff. This one here is a, a military guy. Had this toolbox here. See his tag on there. Even got his social security number right on there. I like this chair here. It's an adjustable. I don't really know what it is. Maybe somebody can tell us what it is, but it's adjustable, heavy metal. It's a cool looking chair. Got a Model A hot rod over there. That one's in, in operation, pulling a trailer. This guy's got a really clean second gen Dodge here, Cummins diesel. Boy, that thing is nice, nice color too. Fifty-seven Buick steering wheel, hundred and forty. There's some buckets there. Sixty-eight Chevy, six hundred. Here's the Model A hot rod here, towing the trailer. Got a Chevy engine in it. There's a Alice Chalmers lawn tractor there. Somebody bought a safe there, so it's sold. Transfer case on the back corner. That's some 58.9 Chevy. I think those are 58 if I remember correct. Pickup truck with the hoods or uh, fender side emblems. 
Come on, your hubcap, sir. Uh, look at the guy swinging there. He's got a Coca-Cola in his hand. Here's the Buick that we saw from the other aisle. 40 Buick sedan. I don't know if they got the price on here or what this is. Oh, that's for that crank right there. This is the only section I haven't been through. Here's the sign for it here. Let's see what the price is right there. 4800 is the phone number. Let's get some other stuff there too. Look at all the different ones for sale there. Pretty solid car. Kind of a barn find looking car. Get a view of the other side if you're interested. Need a piece of trim there. Not too bad though. If you're interested in it, you can give them a ring. There's a 454 there. 68 Chevy. 1500 bucks on that. 63 Chevy front fenders, 500 each. Bunch more license plates there. Over on this side, we've got an old bunch of lubesters and a Coke machine there. Got some cool stuff. Oil cans. Another nice anvil there. There's a Peter Wright anvil for 475. Even the Sasquatch there. It's getting a little breezy out. You can see the, the windmill is going like crazy there. Guys sawing wood up in the windmill. An old Dodge pickup box. Well, it's not a Dodge box. I think it's a, it's a Ford box, like a 35 the 37 Ford box with a Dodge tailgate on it. There's a Jeep door in there. You get all kinds of whirly gigs, airplane one and different ones. Got some cool stuff there. 250 on that pickup box. That's a good deal. That tailgate's worth every penny of that than you could have a free pickup box. Let's get some Ford, looks like 55 or 6 hardtop. Convertible doors, some sort of tea bucket thing up in there. There's a Ford car grill there. John Deere Moore says sold on it. $50 each on the fender skirts, some Chevy fender skirts. Those are probably Ford inner door panels. Here's a Camaro trunk lid. Another one with a spoiler on it. We'll jump around the corner of this building here. Now we got a Thunderbird here. Looks like it needs a quarter there, but they got one there on the ground. It's got the hard top on it with the porthole. Looks like it's got some extra front fenders and different parts. This quarter here looks like it's been put on. That one needed some serious work. I don't see a price on it. Always a cool looking car though. I like the Thunderbirds. Here's a Ford Courier or sedan delivery. Schwinn Phantom there. You gonna be on YouTube later? Here's the back end of it. Pretty solid really. A little Mondo in the back corners there. Don't see very many of them though. Not sure if it's sold or still for sale. I see the there was a sign there, but it's gone. Pretty 
pretty cool car though. And we'll jump around. We've got one more aisle to go through here. Nice little Chevy here, C10, 35,000. It's got an LS, right okay, there's the information. Get over on the side here and get a look at it. It's a short box, real solid, good patina. Good looking truck. Looks like they've shortened the box. You can see it was a long box here. And you can see they welded on that front edge again, but and the back edge. So they turned it into a short box, but still a really cool truck. So if you're interested, you can pause it on their number there and call them up. Now we're getting over towards the end of it here. There's quite a bit more than there normally is because it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's like, it's a little breezy now, but it's like 80 something degrees. After a long winter out here in the Midwest, everybody's looking forward to swap meets. So it goes out here a lot further. This is on the driveway coming in. There's a lot of a lot of stuff. Yeah, we're not going out of business, so. so I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, if you like these types of videos, please subscribe yeah. if you haven't already. Oh well, thanks. Guys. Give us good comments, thumbs up. And, uh, Let us know what you want to see. Okay, because uh, seventy-five hundred on that one. So sixty-seven. A little front end collision at one point, two door hard top. Kind of a long, narrow aisle here. How you doing? And I scoot up through here. I've never seen stuff set out way out on these outer edges here, like this here. There's a Henry J, 52 Henry J, 10,000. You can see the information there. Pretty cool car. Well, we've had a long day here. We got up about five o'clock, got over here and bought a lot of stuff. So this is the, the end of the swap meet here, but we'll uh, we'll catch up with you when we get home, when we pull the stuff out and we'll show you all the, all the treasures we found. So stay tuned for that and we'll catch up with that next. Well, we made it back. Uh, we had kind of a long day, got up at five. It's now probably almost eight. And we got home, got this stuff tossed out, so we'll show you quickly what we got here. Um, now we'll start with these. These are like a Chevy truck. They go in between the running board and the body, the bed. You got kind of a cool uh, cast iron uh, seat here. It says something across the back. It's got one piece broke out there, but it's kind of an unusual cast iron seat. Got a 20s windshield frame there. These are uh, 35 Ford. Inner fenders for a car. Got a 27 Model T dash there. Um, these are pretty nice. These are for a 35 Chevy two-door sedan. These are the door garnishes. There's two of those, real nice condition. These here is a whole lot of uh, 47 to 53 Chevy truck uh, side garnishes. And some of them are the outer pieces, some of the inners. These here are, uh, 35, 36 Ford, two-door sedan. There's a whole set with the rear window and the quarters and the doors. Uh, we got several tailgates here, kind of a funny story. Uh, we got four tailgates here, but we bought five. Uh, so we did a boo-boo and left the GMC tailgate there. So somebody will be happy they, they sold it and I never took it. Anyway, uh, this is a fan shroud for a 53 to 55 Ford truck. This is a fleet side Chevy tailgate, 58, nine up. Uh, this tailgate here is for a, a one ton, three quarter or one ton, 48 to 52 style. 
got a Model T coop trunk lid. This is a Fulton visor. Uh, we always looking for those. They're popular. These are 32 to 34 Ford uh, Detroit lubricator carburetors. Got kind of a nice, I'll show you this one close up here. Kind of a nice uh, 33 Ford speedometer, still works. We got some Chevy emblems here. These parking lights for like a 47 or so Chevy car. These are kind of nice. These are Chevy too. There's a used one, but this one here is new all stock with the tag on it for like a 46 Chevy car. That's the trunk lid latch, but brand new. So that was a good find. I uh, got a 31 Model A with the round face. Got two Ford truck gas pedals there. These are for a Ford uh, pickup. Those are the rear view mirror or side mirror brackets. This is for like a 47 to 53 Chevy pickup, the hood latch. Got a Ford car dash there. Um, got some more Chevy truck stuff here. This is a side cowl vent. Got some hood hinges. Got the Chevrolet thing off the dash and some of the windshield dividers. This is off it. A uh, cowl vent handle. Uh, got a couple somewhere in this box. This is a Newell stock. I think it's GM uh, trunk handle. Here's a GM clock off the dash. These are marked on here. Let's see where right here. These are Newell stock or new replacement stock. Uh, Oldsmobile 4647 series 70 to 90. But you got the nice trunk handles with the key and everything. There's two of those in there. These are Chevy pickup uh, parking lights. This is kind of cool. This is Mopar trunk light with their nice looking deal. Got a couple emergency lights there. Uh, this is a 35 to 37 Ford pickup glove box door and kind of a cool Ford uh, windshield wiper bag there. This is Jeep. This got a Jeep Commando, early 70s. These are some 57 Ford headlight bezels. Uh, got a few fans here, accessory fans. This is one of the rubber blade ones there with the mount and everything. And this one's a reproduction, but it's an older reproduction of one of those rubber blade fans. Uh, this is kind of cool. Oh, it's heavy. It's an anvil. And it's kind of an unusual one, so we've got to do a little research on that one. Kind of a smaller size. It's got some initial stamp into it, but we'll have to do some research on that. Got a GMC grill badge. Got some 30s door handles there. There's some more Chevy truck stuff there. Got the uh, glove box door and the dash trim. This is a reproduction for a 40 Ford pickup. But it's got a little crack right there and there, but still pretty good because they're they're expensive to buy new. We got these tailgates are like 55 to 60s style. Uh, we'll show you what's on the back of the truck here. These are Model A Coupe 3031 uh, pair of doors. They've been chopped down a few inches, but they're pretty good doors otherwise. And these are. All the wide five bolt pattern brake drums. These are some regular ones. These are the Rocky Mountain brakes. There's front and rears here. Or these are fronts, these are rears. And they've all been turned. So they're all nice and clean inside. So that was a good find to, to get those. So they're all ready to use, basically. This is kind of an interesting uh, fuel pump here. I did not look and see what the manufacturer was here. I don't know if I can make it out. Oh, uh, Gilbert and Barker. But that's in real early. It's got a brass cylinder there. Kind of a nickel-plated deal here. Like a curbside pump or maybe one in a building or something real small size. So that's kind of interesting. That over there. We got this grill guard. These are made by Helms. Uh, it says Grand, Grand Rapids, Michigan. They're like a 40s accessory grill guard. Uh, I got a few hubcaps. We're always looking for pickup truck hubcaps. So those are a set of four Ford ones. This is an international from the 40s with the diamonds on it. Got some Chevy emblems. There's four of those. And then there's a couple of the 3100 emblems. This is a bolt light. It's got the red and blue light on there. 
Uh, this is kind of a cool directional with a little red, real Art Deco looking red on the end here too. That's kind of nice. Got some little uh, Indian moccasins here. Indian design, 1951 they're dated, right on there. So those are kind of nice. Uh, I got a couple rear view mirrors, Ford ones. This is kind of a nice GM polishing cloth, really clean tin there. Got a couple toys here. This is kind of an unusual one to find. It's a Tootsie toy of a little red wagon, but you don't see that one very often. Pretty rare. Uh, we got some Ford dual horns here for like a 1939 or 40. And I think that's about all we got there. There's a few little things we got just for personal stuff, but this is mostly what we got for resale. Uh, so, you know, we enjoyed the swap meet. Hope you guys liked watching it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there, but there's also a lot of like yard sale stuff. So it's, it's something you just got to go through and, and find all the, all the things you want. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't look so hot, but you just walk by that and go to the next one and, and get what you like. So anyway, we'll catch you on the next round. We'll be in Carlisle. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow morning. So I've got to get up early tomorrow and get, get out to Carlisle. We'll be at Spring Carlisle. So that'll be our next video. Thank you.